So you've three bet your opponent and they four bet you. What do you do? Well, that's a very good question. So if we're going to start three betting people in No Limit Texas Hold'em, we need to know how to react to four bets. So just like when we are three betting, we need to look at our opponent's range. And specifically, we need to look at our opponent's four betting range. Now, just like what I did earlier in the course talking about the funnel concept, well, we utilize the same type of concept here. So their open raising range is going to be the biggest. And if we three bet them, then their three bet calling range is going to be smaller. And the four betting range is actually going to be even smaller than their three betting range. So you need to start narrowing it down based on their open raising range and determine what type of range would they call the three bet with, what type of range might they fold, and what type of range might they three bet us both for value or are they capable of four betting us as a bluff as well. So here's the thing. When we're faced with a four bet, we have a pretty simple decision if we have a hand such as pocket kings or pocket aces. If we're playing 100 big blind effective stacks, which is what we're focusing on, then reacting to that four bet is simple with pocket kings and pocket aces. We'll just five bet and try to get the money in preflop. And we may just five bet all in. But what if we have a hand such as ace king offsuit, pocket queens, pocket jacks, ace queen suited, pocket nines? What do we do? Well, if we can't five bet them because we don't have aces or kings or we don't want to five bet them, then we should consider either folding or calling the four bet. So taking a three bet slash fold line or taking a three bet slash call line. Now, here's the thing, and I've heard this from a lot of other poker coaches. They'll say that if you three bet, you should never take a three bet fold line. So in other words, if you three bet someone you should be willing to commit all your chips to the pot free flop, specifically when you're three betting for value. I've heard this a lot and I completely disagree. This is a very simplistic way to looking at three betting and it's a really an easy way for you just to give away a lot of chips. I think this is an older way of looking at three betting and it's really not an effective way to play a three betting game because when you play a three betting game then you need to know how to react to four bets and it's not simply commit your chips to the pot we need to look at our opponent's range so with that said look at your opponent's range and here's an example if your opponent is only four betting a strong value range of pocket kings plus which is very common at the micro stakes then you should fold hands such as pocket jacks or po pocket queens in most instances where you're not playing super deep stack poker. Now, in instances where you are deep stack, let's say the effective stack sizes are somewhere around 250 or 300 big blinds because both you and your opponent have built up your stack, then you can look to set mine with hands such as pocket jacks or pocket queens um, or even smaller pairs. You can look to play those hands in that manner, but stacks need to be deep enough and like I said we're going to look at the math behind set mining to determine if you can set mine properly or not and it's all based upon the effective stack sizes. Now on the flip side if your opponent is capable of four betting you light either with a very wide value range in their mind or with a polarized range that also includes bluffs then these hands such as pocket jacks or pocket queens, are hands that we can consider calling or potentially five bit jamming all in preflop. So this is very situational and I don't want to try to come up with some theoretical examples. I'd rather you see some examples in action. So when you are faced with this type of situation or when you see me reacting to these situations, always think, well, what's villains for betting range and use that funnel concept to narrow down the range and that's going to help you to determine your decision and like i said when we're playing deep stacked it's a bit different and we need to consider set mining or set mining rule which we'll talk about later in this section so 
that's my short spiel talking about reacting to four bets. I think if we play a three betting game, we need to know how to react to four bets. And it's not simply commit all your chips to the pot. Um, and really, a lot of this comes down to when we're value four betting. When we're three betting as a bluff and we get four bet, well, in many instances, we're just going to three bet fold because our bluffing hand definitely is not strong enough to call a four bet. And we're not really at the stakes where we need to be bluffing with those hands with a five bet all in jam as a bluff. So I don't want you to think that you should be doing that at the micro stakes. It's a really easy way to spew off chips. Um, and don't be surprised if your opponents call you down with a hand a weak as ace 10 suited or pocket sevens or pocket eights and you are five bet bluffing all in with pocket deuces or you're five bet bluffing all in with six seven suited. Um, so we're not going to get into that. We're not going to talk about the strategy behind uh, four betting as a bluff or five betting as a bluff as well. So anyways, if you have any questions about this lecture, please let me know. If not, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next video.